Hello friends and welcome to my very first Unity tutorial using VRIF Interaction Framework Take 17. Now if you've never used VRIF, uh, it's a great framework uh, created by a really nice guy. Uh, very active Discord. Uh, there's so many things you can do with it and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, go ahead and head over to their Discord and check it out if you haven't already. Uh, a lot of people creating some really cool stuff and a lot of people always willing to help out with problems and BNG is very active on uh, helping with issues. So I can't recommend it enough. It's really great. But you're here to create the Half-Life Alex style weapon wheel. So let's jump right in. Now I've got VRF already installed and uh, I'm in the demo scene, the XR demo scene. And the first thing we need to do is we need to select our hand model because we're going to be using the left thumbstick to enable our weapon wheel. And by default, uh, right now, the left thumbstick or the right thumbstick uh, selects through your models. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the model that you want. I'm kind of partial to the one with black gloves. So I'm going to enable that and I'm going to disable the other one. And same for my other hand. Now once you've done that, go to your player controller and scroll to the bottom. And there's a hand model selector script. Um, by default, is the first hand model, which is zero. Well, I want the second one, so I'm going to change this to one. And I'm going to disable this thumbstick because we're going to use it. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to need my left controller out, so let's get rid of that. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out our weapon wheel. So, come down to your tracking anchor, and I'm using the tracking anchor because it'll allow it to um, be in position with the player, but it won't rotate with your head, which you don't want it to rotate with your head. You want it to stay where you spawned it over top of your hand. So, go ahead and create an empty, and we're going to call this weapon wheel. And this will act as a parent for the whole wheel. And then under that, we're going to create three cubes. Now you can do more cubes, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do three. So cube, you can use a cube, you can use whatever you want. These are just going to be the triggers that spawn the, spawn the gun. I'm going to call this empty hand cube. Go ahead and duplicate it a couple of times. And I'm going to call this one uh, Pistol Cube. And we'll call this one Rifle Cube. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Moving on. Okay, so next we're going to need a couple of guns. So let's go into the framework. And we'll go into our prefabs folder and weapons. And I'm going to use the pistol. So we're just going to make it a child with the weapon wheel. And I want the rifle. Make it a child of the weapon wheel. Now these cubes, right now they're way too big. So if I go into my scene, and let's just see. You can see how big they are. So good size to start with, 0 0.07 on all sides so we're just going to go in here and change all this down to a more reasonable size okay so if we scroll in here and see we got guns we got three cubes i'm going to leave my empty hand one in the middle i'm going to take my pistol cube and i'm going to bring it up that looks pretty good I'm going to take my rifle cube, and we'll put it over here somewhere. And you'll play, you'll play with this after it gets done to see what kind of positioning you want that feels good to you. Uh, but for the sake of this, this works. Now, I kind of just want to, uh, I don't know why I like doing this, but I'm going to take my rifle. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. For the sake of this, you can just leave them there. I kind of like the rifle being where the rifle cube's at. I don't know why. It doesn't really change anything. Well, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Take my rifle here. And 
let's just move it out on the Z. Oops. Move it out on the Z. Put that there. And then we'll take our pistol and we'll raise it up on the Y. So that it's kind of right there. Why not? Okay. Now, once you do this, go into the pistol. And we no longer want to be able to drop or snap these weapons. We want these to be a permanent fixture to the hand because we'll have an empty cube. So when you select this cube with your hand, it'll go empty. So we no longer need to snap this weapon or be able to drop it. We want to keep it. So disable this, can be dropped, and can be snapped. So we don't accidentally snap it. Same thing for your rifle. Go ahead and disable those. Okay, from here we're going to create some scripts. So, send back over here, create a new folder. Just so we're nice and tidy. And create a new script. We're going to call this Enable Weapon Wheel. Now I'm not going to print these, I'm not going to type this out for the sake of the length of the video, but I'll go through them and explain what we're doing. So this is going to enable our weapon wheel so that it appears over top of our hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign our weapon wheel that we just created and we're going to give it a target position, which is going to be our hand. And when we click in on our left thumbstick, or our right thumbstick, sorry, it's going to check if it's not if it's not active. And if it's not, it's going to make it active, which means it's going to make it appear. And then it's going to target its position to the hand, which is what we're going to assign. Otherwise, it's just going to set it to uh, disabled, false. Go ahead and pause it if you need to copy that down. And then back over to unit. And we're going to take this, and it doesn't really matter where this is at. I've just been throwing it on the player controller, but it doesn't matter. You just scroll down to the bottom here. You can see it wants our weapon wheel and our target position. So we're going to take our weapon wheel that we just created, put that in there, and then our target position is going to be our right hand model. So drop that in there. And then we're going to create a new script. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to call this one Weapon Wheel Select. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is we're going to be interacting with the uh, BNG grabber. So we need using BNG. And this script looks kind of long, and it is, but it's really just the same thing repeated. But we'll go through it real quick. Now, we need a reference to the grabber, which we'll assign. We need the grabbable rifle, so it knows what to assign. And then we need the game object rifle, which is the same thing, but we need to be able to enable it and disable it. And we need our origin cube, which is the cube that we created. And then we have the same thing for the pistol. So we have it for a grabbable, so we can assign it to the grabber. We have the game object pistol so that we can enable it and we have the origin cube which is the cube that we created in the weapon wheel. Moving down you can see we just have methods. These are just methods in here for each cube. There's three of them and they're virtually identical. We have the rifle select method and what we're going to do is we're going to check and see if we're already holding the rifle. And if we are we're just going to return and do nothing because if you hit the cube and you're already holding the rifle well it doesn't need to do anything. And now we're going to check and see if it's holding the pistol. So if the grabber is, is uh, not equal to null, which means it's not empty, then we're going to check and see if he's holding the pistol. And if he is holding the pistol, then we want to drop it. Excuse me. Okay, where was I? Okay, if we are holding the pistol, we're going to drop it. And then we're going to return it to its origin position, which is at the cube. 
and then we're going to turn it kinematic so it doesn't have any gravity it doesn't you know react to physics it's just gonna not drop to the ground and then we're gonna set the active to false so we're gonna disable it so we can't see it and then we're gonna enable that the rifle which means it's gonna appear we're gonna assign it to our grabable our grabber and we're gonna make kinematic false so it has gravity and everything again and it reacts to physics and then we're gonna set its parent to null you have to set its parent to null because if you don't and you let the weapon wheel disappear well the weapon will disappear as well because it'll still be a child once you let go of the rifle of the <clears throat> once you let go of it it will return to being a child um, else it's just gonna go ahead and set the rifle running through the same stuff and it does the exact same thing for the pistol but it's just checking for the pistol inside of the rifle Go ahead and pause it if you need to copy that and then if we want our hand to be empty this is our empty hand select method same thing if it's holding the rifle it's gonna drop it return it to its origin and make it kinematic and it's gonna disable it so we can't see it and then the same thing for the pistol back over to unity again it doesn't matter too much where you put this script I've just been throwing it on the tracking anchor for the sake of simplicity because it's right there <clears throat> I've been running into a bug I don't know about you guys where you make a script and you put it on and it doesn't have any of your public scriptable things going on uh, I'll come back to it I found that once I make another script and it re uh, reloads the scripts it'll pop up so let's go ahead and make a new script and we'll come right back to that And we're going to name this one Weapon Wheel Empty Hand. Okay, so these are just triggers. Um, all three cubes are going to have virtually... <coughs> excuse me. Are going to have virtually the exact same script. And all it is is a trigger collider. So basically when you trigger the, uh, the cube, so your hand enters the cube, it's going to run the empty hand select method on the weapon wheel select... Uh, script that we made it's simple enough and then let's go back into unity reload let's go back up here and see if yeah see all the stuff has appeared now let's go and assign this stuff before we move on so it wants your hand grabber so give it that and it wants your rifle it wants the rifle twice once for the grabable and once to enable and disable it. So let's take our rifle. And it wants the, the rifle cube, the origin. That's where we're gonna send it send it back to live when we're not using it. And then we need the same stuff for the pistol. So let's go ahead and grab our pistol. Okay, <clears throat> now for the script we just made, the weapon wheel empty hands, we're going to put that on our empty hand cube. And again, it's not giving it to me. I don't know why it's not doing that. If anybody knows how to fix that, please let me know. Sometimes you can get it by doing this. We'll move on. Let's go ahead and create a new script. We'll call this weapon wheel pistol. Let's 
And again, it's the same script as the last one. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Been fighting off a cold, I think. Anyway, same script as before. Only now we're referencing uh, the pistol select method. So now when your right hand enters uh, the cube, it'll run this method. Same thing. Let's head back over to Unity. And almost guarantee that our empty hand cube, yep, there it is. So this is asking for our weapon select script, which we put on our tracking anchor. Let's go ahead and give it that. And then our weapon wheel pistol, we're going to put that on our pistol cube. Yeah, okay, good. It's showing up now. And it's wanting the script again, so it's the tracking anchor. That's where we put that script. And we're going to create one more script. We're going to call this one weapon wheel rifle. Same thing as the last two. I don't think I need to explain it. Go ahead and pause it and copy it. Back into Unity. We're going to take our weapon wheel rifle and put it on our rifle cube. And again, as you can see, it's not showing up. So pop up in here. See if I can make it up here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get that to show up. It's a very annoying bug. Back to the rifle cube, see if it's going to show up this time. Nope. <coughs> There we go. Okay. Again, it's asking for our weapon wheel select script, which we put on the tracking anchor, so we're going to put it right there. Now, each one of these cubes, you've got to make them triggers. So go into each one, and under their box collider, go ahead and make them is trigger. All right, from here, we're going to jump into VR and see what we've got. I'm sure I've missed something along the way, but let's find out. I can already see something that I missed. If you go to your, uh, your rifle and your pistol, go ahead and disable them. That way they're not there. All right, let's see. All right, here we are. Oh, missed something. Oh, I forgot to tag my grabber. So if you go down to your grabber, you need to create a tag. And I called it right hand, and this is the way it is in the scripts. 
So just go ahead and tag your grabber as right hand. Notice the capital H. Okay, now let's try it. All right, so from here, all we need to do is adjust the rotation. So if we come in on our weapon wheel here, on our scene, you can see it's kind of straight out. So if we grab our rotation, which I think is, no, not that, Why? There we go, just tilt it in a little bit. You can play with this rotation and, and where your cubes are at and whatever you feel is comfortable. I'm not going to go into it too far. Let's see how that works. And there you have it, Half-Life Alex, Half Alex style weapon wheel. I hope you found this informative and do please check out BNG and the VR interaction framework. It is pretty awesome. Thanks for joining.